Hey there, guys. Welcome to the channel. So Jack Smith, or as Trump likes to call him, deranged Jack Smith, just replied to Trump's comments about the protective order that he's trying to get. And before we dive in, guys, I just want to say thanks to everyone who's been liking, sharing, subscribing. It means a lot to us, and it really does help us grow. So here's the deal. Jack Smith is looking for a protective order related to evidence in his case against Donald Trump. This is the January 6th case, not the other gazillion other cases. And this is not your usual protective order like one you'd get to keep somebody away from you or anything like that. Instead, what Jack's worried about is Jack's worried that Trump might talk about the case and its evidence in public. And the government, after owning the court system and after completely owning the media, well, they want to own the court of public opinion as well. And so Trump's team, they pitched their idea of what a protective order should look like, how they could craft it. And Smith came back with his response. And from the looks of it, the guy seems to really want to keep Trump from discussing anything publicly. And Trump's attorney, so he's been on TV lately doing the media rounds. We did a pretty good video on him. He's suggesting that Mike Pence, contrary to what the left is saying, the left is saying Pence is like the star witness. No, Trump's lawyer is saying Mike Pence is going to be a valuable witness for them. And we, like I said, we did a video of him yesterday, and this dude is sharp. So, so far we know that he's got a very, very sharp looking and very, very sharp thinking attorneys. The pair should be uh, pretty awesome. And we've actually done videos on both of them. So while this is a legal issue, you know, we can't ignore political implications. So Jack Smith's move, if granted, and the jury's still out on this judge, and this is going to be a really big litmus test, obviously, for the way she's going to behave in the future. But if this is granted, this would mean that anyone can discuss the case against Trump except for Trump or Trump's team. They can't effectively to you know respond to any of the propaganda or any of the garbage in the media, even anything that the prosecution says. So it kind of puts Trump or any defendant who is in this situation in a really, really tight spot, if you ask me. And, you know, the talk is at Smith's play. And this is what people are saying, you know, political people who know more than we do. They're saying that it probably has a political angle. And I'm not saying that the guy is playing politics. That is not my opinion. I really have no idea. But you can see how a lot of people would actually get that impression. And this protective order, it seems like a pretty extreme thing, especially considering, you know, we've got a First Amendment case is what this is. You know, any leftist troll in the comments right now, you know, you may not know exactly what I'm talking about. Just Google the First Amendment and then hit me with some goofy comments in celebration of your newfound freedom and discovery. But remember, the complaint for any Constitution lover not even Trump supporters, but any lover of the Constitution who looks at this case, our complaint is that they found an imaginative, they being the government, has found an imaginative old statute to basically run an end around the First Amendment and prosecute Trump's speech, making it a violation for him to say something if the government can prove that he didn't actually believe it. Now, on top of all that, making it a violation for him to even talk about it would just be something too freaking Orwellian for even the most hardened fascist to ignore. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Guys, if this order goes through, it might need to get escalated to higher courts, obviously. In fact, not might. If this thing goes through, they need to immediately appeal to higher courts because this is big stuff. Anyway, what do you guys think? Uh, drop a comment. and Please, please don't forget to like, subscribe. Most importantly, share the Common Sense Garage. We'll see you in the next one. Every time you do one of those things, the leftist loses their wings. Thanks for watching, guys.